Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how to release a game on mobile, and actually if you even should, alright? Um, so let's get started, alright? So um, I'm going to explain a few things first that you need to know about mobile, okay? Because there are a few little like things you should know before you're actually intended on making a game for it, and I'm also going to help you decide if it's even worth developing a mobile compatibility for your game, okay? Because every game is different, and some games actually might not need it, alright? Um, you know, opposed to what most people think, not all games need to be on mobile, all right? <laughs> so yeah, and then toward the end, I'll explain how to actually do it on like on Roblox Studio, the technical side, and how to actually start developing like mobile buttons and stuff like that um, as well. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so what are some things you need to know about mobile, okay? So first things first, the mobile audience is going to be a lot younger than the PC audience, okay? This is very important. Keep this in mind, okay? Um, this means, obviously, they're going to have shorter attention spans, okay? People or mobile players are going to go onto your game, and if they get bored, they're going to leave, all right? It's that simple. They, they're, 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 a lot of them are kids, right? So they're going to be a lot you know, have short attention spans and stuff like that, right? But there is good news to that, which is they, they're always, like, searching for new games. You know what I'm saying? So if there's, like, an obby or something like that, mobile players love obbies. I don't know why. They also love simulators. You know, they also love role-play games, stuff like that, right? Um, but, you know, they might not like, you know, a PvP game as much as they like Adopt Me. You get what I'm saying? It's um, mobile players are play different types of games than PC players. And also, they are more likely to give up, and they won't be inclined to, you know, play, like, PvP or challenging games, okay? So keep that in mind as well. Also, you know, mobile players, mobile devices are a lot less powerful than PCs, okay? So you need to understand this because, you know, you need to make sure your game is optimized well, okay? Because if you have a game that has a lot of stuff in it that a mobile that a mobile device can't run, well, then that's an issue, okay? So you need to make sure your game is optimized well so it can run smooth on a mobile device, right? And also, just so you know, you know, a lot of kids are very social, okay? And people on mobile are mainly kids, right? So they like, you know social aspects in games. That's why Adopt Me is a lot of players, right? A lot of mobile players. Because they're it's a very social game, talk to other people and stuff like that, right? So keep that in mind when making a mobile game too. You know, think about, you know, is my game like that? Would would you know, would a kid like my game or would a mobile player like my game? Is it too, you know, complex? Is there a lot of stuff in it? Um, you know, stuff like that. Think about that, right? Um, you know, is it too is it too performance heavy? Stuff like that. Anyways, yeah, um that's one thing to know. Or, or a few things to know, I guess. Alright, also a lot of people ask as well, like, what percentage of players play on mobile, okay? Because a lot of people know that there is a lot of mobile players, but, you know, does that mean your game can't be popular without mobile? Which is, no, not true at all. Phantom Forces didn't have mobiles on the front page for a long time, you know what I'm saying? There are certain games that are that can be popular without mobile. But um, here's, like, a breakdown of actually, you know, what percentage of players are on what um, platform. And this is actually from, like, RDC, which is, like, a Roblox developer conference, the one in 2019. They have it every year. Um, so it's a very credible source. This comes right from Roblox. So, um, yeah. And also DAU is, like, daily active users. So, yeah. Anyways, so basically, as you can see here, though, the phone is about 45%, or maybe something like that, right? And then desktop is a pretty big chunk as well. And then, as you can see, tablet's a smaller chunk, and then console's a pretty slim chunk, okay? So, obviously, you know, people on mobile play a lot, right? I mean, mobile, I mean, honestly, whenever I think of mobile, I think of, like, kind of tablet and phone. Because, like, if your game's on phone, then it can definitely be on mobile, or definitely be on a tablet, right? So, that's what I classify it as. But anyways... Uh, there's a big chunk of players on that on those platforms, right? So you know you would think, okay, well maybe I should make my game on mobile, right? Every game should have it because obviously the more players, the better. Um, but that may not necessarily be true, right? Just because there's a lot of players on mobile doesn't mean they're gonna play your game necessarily, right? Um, so yeah. Anyways, so should you release your game on mobile? Okay. Um, probably yes. Okay. Um, I'd say for like 90% of the people watching this game, yes, or watching this video, sorry, <laughs> yes, you should. But most of Roblox's player count is on mobile, so like, right? You you would think, right? More players means more people spend your money on your game, right? But like like I said, if you have an intense PvP game, people don't want to. People might not want to play that, right? Um, or mobile players. So you yeah, keep just keep that stuff in mind. You get what I'm saying, right? So yes, but yes, I would recommend adding it to your game, and let me show you guys actually how to do that technical stuff right now. All right, so this is sort of how you get started with like creating buttons, stuff like that, and how to make it so they can press UIs and all that stuff. This is how you get started with that stuff, okay? So let me go ahead and actually, oh crap, okay. Let me go ahead and actually test what I have so far, okay? So I'm gonna hit play right now. All right, and then I'll hit uh, open shot. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> All right, go to test right here, and actually, you can go and test on mobile, right? So you hit device, and then, um, you know, press this, and then you go to here. You can actually change to where you want your 
like what you want to emulate, right? This is like an emulator thing. And you can see you can go on like a Samsung, whatever this is. You can go on like an iPhone X, right? As you can see, you can emulate different platforms, right? And even when you play the game, it actually feels like a different platform as well, right? They make use of the controls. So if I hit play right now, as you can see, I have, um, you know, my, my walking area right here. I don't know if you can see that. I have that. I have a jump button. Okay, and this button I actually added myself, which I'll show you how to use in a second, um, but pretty cool, right? And then I have this open shop button too, right? Which actually, if I if I tap on it, um, there you go, it opens up. Now, obviously, you know, I'm not actually tapping on my screen because I'm on computer, but um, I'm emulating it and I, because I, I coded a, a custom function to do this with, right? And also this button here, which I'll show you how to do in a second. But um, as you can see here, I have this script that actually opens the GUI shop, right? And I had to use another event called touch tap, which is one of the um, you know events that fires when like a, a player touches in a, a player touches a GUI object, right? If you do it like a touch tap, which means like you tap it right on your screen, um, then that'll fire. So it's sort of like mouse button one up, but obviously it's not because you're touching it. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's what you need to do for mobile. Like if I were to comment this out and delete it from my code or whatever. Um, it wouldn't work on mobile. I, I, I would no longer be able to actually um, open the GUI. So if you don't add that code into your game, you're not going to be able to actually use it on mobile. So as you can see, oh, okay. Well, now it just works completely. But that's because it's an emulator. Um, it, it wouldn't work before. Trust me. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> All right, so now as you can see here too, I have this button, which I added. Let me actually um, hide that script for a second. I'm going to disable it. And as you can see, if I hit play, that button is no longer there. But I actually added this button with context action service, which basically, um, as you can see, I'll show you what it does. Let me enable the script again. Um, what it does is it just honks a horn. It's a pretty simple script. Um, <laughs> it's uh, not very useful right now, obviously, but for your game, it probably would be. So I'll just move around real quick with this thing. And then I'll be like, okay, I want to honk my horn. And honk, honk, honk. It's not honking. I don't know why it's not working. That's uh, a bit odd. Maybe, maybe this broke? Um, hmm. I don't know why I can't hear it, but anyways, the point is it works. If I go ahead and print something out right now, it'll, and I'll just do prints. Uh, button is being pressed. Then it'll work. It should, I think. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it, it worked before this. I don't know why it doesn't work right now. Uh. Okay, as you can see, it says button being pressed. The sound just didn't work for some reason. But anyways, if you want to know how I actually do this stuff and like how I code like this button right here and uh, how I coded this like GUI, um, I have tutorials on all that stuff. Go watch my context action service. I'll try to link that in the description below, and it might be up here. Um, so go watch that if you're interested in that. Um, if you want to know how to create these UIs, right, um, then go watch my UI series. I'm not gonna reteach you everything here, right? And we would just waste a lot of time. But um, like I said, guys, definitely recommend adding it to your game. It's very, very useful. I would add it. I have it on every game I release pretty much. Uh, mobile is very important. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. It has been your boy. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, that's it, I guess. Okay. All right, see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>